nacho plate, would you say? This is called the super nachos. Instead of chips, we use a uh, raw red cabbage, mm -hmm. and we have a, a walnut, sunflower seed, meat, um, cashew cheese, and guacamole, and uh, jalapenos, tomatoes, etc. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm going to show this other one too here because this is a meatless lasagna, right? Yeah, that's correct. And what did you What did you use on this? Uh, instead of pasta, we use a uh, zucchini that's thinly sliced. There's a tomato sauce made from sun-dried tomatoes, red pepper, fresh tomato. And then there's a kale and basil pesto, cashew cheese, and a walnut uh, meat right there. So when you order something like this, is this like a typical serving? Yeah. Okay. And then this is, I mean, it looks like your sushi, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's just, obviously... That's called a nori roll. Oh, okay. Lots of yummy veggies in that one. Okay, yeah. today you're going to make us, what, a Reuben? Yeah. With no meat? Yeah, correct. So what's that? <laughs> what's going to be in there? Uh, the ingredients will be um, the meat from this Thai coconut. We have uh, a bread that we make out of beets. We have beets and flaxseed, right? Yeah, beets okay. and caraway. Okay. And this is the meat after it's been marinated. Uh, we have our own version of Thousand Island, a cashew cheese, tomatoes, sauerkraut. Okay. But so first, I'm going to crack open this coconut so you can see uh, what, that's, what that's like. Okay. okay. But you're going to want to stand back uh, a little bit. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's going all over. Yeah. So this is, like, really, really yummy, yummy coconut yeah. water. So did you, like, how did I think about, I guess this is common? I've never had, like, a sandwich made out of the coconut. This is rare. Okay. But that's why we did it, because no one else would do it. Right. Yeah. I like that. And then you, so you take the, uh, I guess I should wait for you to do that. That's just the water part of it. But where do you get the meat part of it? That, right in there? Yeah, it's in there. We have to cut that open and scrape it out. Okay, and that's what turns into this. Right. Okay. So, I brought that for you. Oh, I can taste this. Oh, yeah, unless you already had yours today. No, I didn't, but this is amazing. Talk about fresh, Rhonda. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Okay, sorry. So, this is that you're going to take the coconut meat. Yeah, so. Can I drink this while I talk yeah. to you? This yeah. is just delicious. Yeah, help yourself. Okay. And while you're doing this, um, how long have you guys been there? Um, We've been there for three years. Okay. You've got to be, uh, I mean, so many people are so much more health conscious. So you've got all of those people, but I, what I also like about what you're doing here is you're just making everything so different. I mean, I, none, none of these dishes you can really find in a lot of restaurants. Yeah, um, no one's doing this right now because it's a lot of work, too. Yeah. And the ingredients are really expensive, but we want to do something very high quality mm -hmm. and healthy because if you want a healthy option, there's not very many. Right, so you've got this. What, tell me more about your menu and your place. Uh, we have breakfast, we have smoothies, juices. Uh, a lot of our sales come from juicing and smoothies. Um, and we have a lot of lunch, too. But uh, we close early because uh, we just do breakfast and lunch. Okay. And by the way, if you're looking for Try It Raw, it is right in Devonham, Birmingham, on Maple, next to Social, if you know where that is. Um, so definitely check it out. Okay, are we able to actually kind of assemble this because we're running out of time? All right, so this is the meat. This gets marinated. And it'll assemble the root now. Okay. So this is what the marinated coconut, is it called coconut meat? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes people get confused. They're like, I don't eat meat. But I'm like, it's called coconut meat. Oh, what do you marinate it in? Uh, this is a tamari and liquid smoke. Okay. And then we uh, put this on there. Sauerkraut. That does look delicious. Tomato. And what is that? The taste of some sort. This is cashew and zucchini puree. Okay. If the traditional Reuben would be corned beef, uh, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and uh, Russian dressing. Okay. And this is a pretty good hot seller? Yeah. Sell out every Friday. Really? That's the only day we have it. Okay. And how much is it about? Uh, $12. Okay. Looks delicious. And the finished product, folks, I'll leave it right there. I think they can see. Mm -hmm. I'll move it there so you can see the inside of it. There you go. That looks delicious. Can I try this one? Sure. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. So